In this session, we will grade topography using the DocoFoster plugin. First, we will grade a path along a curve, cutting Through this topography, with this path, the grade will cut through it like so. Then we'll create a procedural field of noise to create a new landform here. And finally, we'll calculate the difference in cut and fill um, for these landforms. So without further ado, let's start a new session and begin by importing um, an XYZ point cloud, import ASCII XYZ. We're going to place a file path component. Set the path to the existing file. I'm going to pick this elevation XYZ that's coming from GIS. I'm going to plug that in as my file path. For this exercise, we are going to lower the resolution of our digital elevation model. So I'm going to place a panel. I'll label it resolution. And I'll set the value to 2 so that this runs a little more smooth. Now, I'm going to then shift the grid from geographic space to the origin of the local scene. And we can quickly now visualize our scene as a mesh. So we'll use the grid mesh command to convert the DocoFoser grid into a mesh that we can easily visualize. Then we'll add a custom preview. and a color swatch. I'm going to group these together and label this um, import XYZ point cloud. Our next step will be to um, carve a path through the landform. We're going to use, from Operations Absolute, cut and fill in path. My input here will be my shifted DocoFoser grid. I'll go ahead and hide the wires. And I'm going to input a curve into this. I'll use the interpolate curve command to set this. And I'm going to make a collection of points using the point parameter as my vertices. I won't connect this yet. I'll leave it connected. OK, so my points, I'm going to go ahead and draw them. Set multiple points. I'm going to draw them along the ridge of my landform. Now my points are 
underneath my terrain surface at the origin of the scene at relative sea level. So what I'll do is shift them up using a move command. Move. And I will set the motion with a unit Z vector. And I'll place a panel or a number slider and give a value of 10 or 11. I need some additional parameters for this. I need um, the width. I'm going to set the width of the path to 1. Um, the other parameters, the default is fine, a slope angle of 33 degrees. Now I need to visualize this, so I'm going to place another grid mesh and a custom preview. I'll copy the one earlier in my scene, paste that, and add it over here. I'll go ahead and turn off my earlier preview. And we can see our path carved through the landform nicely now. We can adjust the height of the path, like so. We can also adjust the control points if we need. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create a field of procedural noise. So I'll first group this and label it. Cut path along curve. Um, the procedural noise is here. There's noise and sine wave. This will be volumetric displacement using Perlin noise. Go ahead and place that component. My input for this is going to be the grid coming out of cut and fill in path. And I'll go ahead and hide the wire for this. My curve, I'm going to make in this case a circle inside of the arc of the landform. I'm going to place a point for the center of the circle. And I'll set that point. I'll try to draw it about there. And to change the height this time, I could go to Manage Point Collection and change the Z value here. Now I can see my point and the circle. I'm going to add another panel for the radius. And I may set this to something like um, 14 or 15. 
2d12. I'll plug this in as the curve for the noise. I need a few more parameters. I need wavelength, amplitude, and smoothing. I'm going to set my smoothing to zero. I'm going to set my wavelength to 10 and my amplitude, I think, to 2. To visualize this, we will need to hide the other mesh and place another grid mesh and custom preview here. And we can see our procedural field of noise. Now might be a good time to adjust the parameters. For example, adjust the wavelength. And potentially decrease the amplitude even. Could also, for example, increase the radius of the circle, the region of effect. Now, the final thing we want to do is compute cut and fill for this operation. Go ahead and group these and label this landform from noise. To compute cut and fill, I'm going to go to grid, grid compare, and I'll be comparing the original grid from the shifted grid I'll go ahead and hide both of these wires. And I'll compare that with the output of noise, the grid output from noise. We can visualize this as a grid mesh as well. So I can copy and paste an earlier grid mesh and plug it in here. I'll hide the last preview and we can see the cut and the fill. In addition to visualizing this, we can also um, calculate the numbers. So here, we have the value for the cut, 680, and um, the volume for the fill, 45 cubic meters. To visualize this, we can place a panel, um, and I'll write cut, oops, and plug in the output here. And I'll do the same for fill. Plug in fill to this one. And finally, group these and label this cut and fill analysis. And there we have grading. So 
topography with Doko Foser.